Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Celestial Farm Girl here, and we are here today to do a read for Virgo. So, um, anybody, you know, we all have Virgo in our charts, right? Every single one of us. And today the moon happens to be in Virgo. Okay, I've been a little offbeat and uh, haven't been doing the moon signs in last month, but I'm feeling a comeback. And since I'm Virgo and a Virgo, I decided to come back and start with Virgo. Look at your Queen of Cups. I love you guys, and I don't even need to be reminded of that. I love everybody, whether you've ever been here or not. I am a lover of all things created by the great creator, no matter, no matter what they are, from little bugs to... You know, birds, great things that fly through the air, angels, spirits, the dead, the living, trees, flowers, plants, you name it. I, I love all the spirits of all creatures of all creation. And so um, I'd like to share that with you guys. So today we're going to talk about Virgo and we're going to see what the spirit is going on with Virgo today. And let's just go ahead and pull one. Oh. Darn, this is not the easiest card to start off with. Some of us are working through, uh, I got Eight of Swords here, feeling bound or stuck, constrained, powerless, self-imprisonment, victim mentality, fears, anxiety, and ostracism. Wow. I don't, I don't, but we got eight, right? we got the Lion's Gate portal coming up to uh, August the 8th. We are in the month of Leo. And 8 is for infinity, right? Our days, they come and go. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Some days are ho-ho, right? Um, a mental prison is not a good place to be. And me, I don't live in my head. I advise all to move into the heart because the heart is always clear and pure and that's where your inner child resides. Uh, within your heart, you know, and on the back of this rock is never lose hope. You know, I got this rock about five years ago, maybe seven, I'm thinking now. Uh, I think it was on Thanksgiving. I lived in a little camper van, homeless. My my home was in the middle of a parking lot uh, of uh, Shopco that was discontinued. I actually planted flowers in the little um, flower place that was beside where I would park this little camper at. And on ha on Thanksgiving, this lady brought me a Thanksgiving meal in this rock. And she told me to never lose hope. Of course, I would never lose hope. I had dreams still. It didn't matter that I was in a camper. It didn't matter that I was homeless. It didn't matter to me that the man I was with couldn't stay sober long enough to work to try to help me get us out of the situation we were in. So I've been stuck. I stuck. I let myself be stuck there for a long time until I decided that that was not where I belonged. And I got out of my head and moved into my heart. What that did was make me realize I needed to learn to love myself. You know, I allowed people to mistreat me so much that it put me in this male prison. And generally that's where this will come from, from the things that are going on around us where we're not treated special, we're not treated precious, we're not treated like we deserve to be treated. And we get up in our head and start thinking, oh my God, what's the matter with me? I need to change this. I need to do that. How can I help myself be this? How can I help myself be that? No. No. You are that. You are all you need to be at this time and any other time coming up in your life. You will not stay in a mental prison. Why? Because you know how to move your spirit down out of your mind and into your heart, right? Because you command your own spirit. Will it take a minute? It might. You might need to actually take a few deep breaths, 
look at something that makes you feel so much love and emotion that it breaks you down into tears and move into your heart. Look what I got. I pulled out a symbol. I got the key. So, in order to get out of your head, you want to think of love. Yeah, it's really hard when all you got in your mind is, you know, a bunch of riffraff that don't do anything but make you feel sad or mad or depressed or rejected or whatever. But the key is, is to go into your heart and allow the tears to flow. Release your mind, release control. Rest, rest in your heart. That's where love is. Will it hurt? Yeah, a little bit. You'll cry, especially if these swords follow you. But that's the trick of it. It's transmuting these swords back into love that's in your heart and getting these damn things out of your head. Living through your heart, living through your feelings and allowing those feelings of pain to exude themselves, to be released. What happens, Holy Spirit, when they allow these emotions that these swords have caused to move into their heart, there'll be a transmutation. Got a card on the floor. We got two cards on the floor. Okay. You will begin to change your perception. Perspective. Perception. Virgo. Uh, this is uh, sacrificing one thing for spiritual growth. Prophecy. Involuntary. Submission. Trust is being tested. Suffering. New perspective. Unconventional. Yeah. So, you see, he's flipping his world upside down. That's almost like sending what the thoughts are in your head going down into the heart. Changing your view instead of thinking about it. Now, he's feeling it. Feel it. And releasing. Surrendering. I was hoping we'd get a happy-go-lucky reading for a go. But, you know, I myself have been going through these things, too. I have been pulling these thoughts about myself down into my heart so I could see if they're real or not. Is these thoughts that I have about myself or about others, are they real? Or are these just things that the anxieties of life have brought into my world and I must now clear out the clutter? Because in our heart, we think true. We think with love. We learn to love ourselves, have mercy on ourselves, have love for others, have mercy on others. And that's the whole per perception, Virgo, of going into a different view, looking at them from upside down, basically, flipping them over, turning them around, looking at them from this way, then turn it sideways, and then looking at it this way, in the heart, because the heart is full of love and will continuously love you no matter what, where the mind is cold and dry, or maybe hot and dry, but it isn't got no feelings, it's just thoughts, which thoughts could shake up our whole damn world. It's over the heart, you know, mind over matter. So you want to kind of, sometimes you want to get down here into the matter and work it out and clear the mind. Oh, wait, this other card was on the floor. Yeah, um, you know, you're very intelligent, you're astute, you're perceptive and confident, indomitable, strong character, creative, independent, organized, articulate, highly principled. You're now moving towards the Queen of Swords, full of justice, boundaries, intelligence, clear thinking, you can spot a, I don't want to even say snake. You can spot a deceiver. Let's just quit calling them snakes because snakes are a part of nature. You can spot a deceiver from a mile away. You see him coming. 
And, you know, you've got your sword up. You're daring them. Dare you. I dare you, you're saying, after getting out of your head and getting this new perspective. This is a clear mind. This is seeing what's going on. This is Virgo. Look at there. This is Virgo right here. Hey, Virgo. There you are. Look, Missy Queen of Swords. Good for you, Virgo. But I know it was a journey. And I know it hurt. I know it hurt because maybe the whole Virgo collective have been on this journey. So you're at a place now where you can see the sneaky Pete from a mile away. You know, I forgot to roll the dice. Let's go ahead and do a quick roll of the dice and see what the dice are saying. And I only pulled one symbol and I, and I come up with the key. So the key is getting out of your head and into your heart clearing out those emotions so that you can uh, see straight and determine, you know, intellectually what you want to do with your future. For Jupiter, we got Jupiter 11 and Capricorn, another Earth sign, right? Higher vibrations now. And not only that, uh, Jupiter is bringing in a lot of good luck. And, um, you know, this is awesome. And you know, the thing is, is we're also Mercury, you know, Toth, Hermes, Mercury. Um, we have the ability to work between the spirit world and the living world, right? Uh, we are very intellectual as a Virgo. And not only that, we're very practical. We can take our intelligence, right, Virgo, and turn it into practical means to get ourselves out of any situation or to empower ourselves in the situation we're in and move forward into that Ten of Pentacles, right? Because we know that it is the mind over the matter and we cannot stay stuck in our head. We've got to get down into our heart and start moving. Ace of Pentacles. We got a gift coming in, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Go, 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 go. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. Taurus and Aries and Gemini. Mercury ruled. Ace of Pentacles. Fresh starts. Yeah. I, I love a fresh start. I'm in a fresh start of my own right now. Yeah, actually, after a 33-year marriage, right, and I was true and faithful and others weren't, but it took me time to figure that out. I am now three months into being a single woman completely without even seeing the ex. I feel better than I've ever felt. So I, too, am on a new start. And I hope you guys are appreciating your new start as much as I'm appreciating mine as I build my business and tarot, as I work on my spiritual guidance for myself and others, you know, hoping to bring the rainbow to all and help all to understand how very special and precious you are especially you Virgos. Like we're, we was depicted at one time as the angels. Remember back in the day, I'm talking probably 30 years ago, we always had wings on our astrological sign whenever you buy something that had Virgo on it. And there was even a time when the Sith, the sickle was on there. Like she was the harvesting angel. What does that mean? It means we're the angel of death. We carry life and death in our hands. If you're harvesting, you're taking, you're taking, you know, you're cutting down the wheat. You're taking it. It's done. You're now going to look through it and get the best out of it that you can. It's for food. So, you know, the Virgo, I'm very proud of us. We are angels. Whether male or female, don't matter. We work hard out here. Our job is mainly to heal. You know, we're all, we're mostly healers. Ace of Wands, that's the truth. That's the light. 
we work hard on healing. Look, there's cancer, water, Leo. We're very, we, we're in Leo season right now, and we just we just left the, the cancer, where the moon went through cancer. The water of the mother, the love. Because we are each and every sign. It doesn't matter. We carry all the aspects. Actually, in order to be a whole person, Virgo, we actually need to find every aspect and every sign and highlight that in our life. And if we become the best of each and every aspect in the sign, then we, you know, dare I say it, can become perfect. Perfectly imperfect humans. Humans that are trying, humans that are working hard to get to where they're going. Yes. Ascending humans climb the ladder of the astrological aspects in each and every sign. We perfect these aspects within ourselves. You know, the knowledge, the ability to move uh, from our head into our heart with our spirit so we don't end up in a mental prison. The ability to emotionally dislodge all those feelings so that we can surrender and release them, cry them, be mad about them, emotionally discharge them, transmute them into something better. Yeah. The fire, the queen of wands, single, able to do anything she wants to do. And look at her holding on to the sunflower. I have probably, a, I don't know how many sunflowers. I dare to say a thousand sunflowers in my yard this year. I let the birds plant them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. People are always like, oh my God, your yard is gorgeous. Sunflowers, wildflowers everywhere. Better than a sticker patch. Better than a sticker patch. And the grass went more than hoot anyway. It was old, old sergeant's grass. So I just laid it out. It's like walking through a garden. It is a garden. It's very beautiful. It's very cleansing and feeling. I invite you all to my house for a walk through my garden. It's not very big, but it's beautiful. It's It looks like an old-fashioned cottage out in the middle of the woods. I love it. I love you guys, too. So you're in the Queen of Wands right now. You're bossed up. You're sitting on your throne. You not only got your sword as the Queen of Swords, but you're hot, too. You're hot. You're hot. You're sexy. You're lovely. And you're full of fire. And ain't nobody going to tell you what to do, right? Nobody got nothing on you. You're celebrating right now, Virgo. And I feel that. I, too, am celebrating. I, too, am really enjoying the end of summer, you know, and the end of this season, the beginning of a new next year. But I'm not even thinking about that. I just know that I am happier now than I have been in years and years and years and it feels so good to allow it to exude from me i love you guys and this all comes from me learning to love myself never have i ever ever cared about who i was or what i was doing up until the last three years through this uh, big breakup separation trying to get away from this narcissist that was with me and, you know, trying to imprison me into his toxic lifestyle. And it was a battle for my life, to tell you the truth. Oh, and look at that, what's on top. But I took the high road. I decided to do everything honestly, truthfully, um, you know, not trying to hurt anybody, just trying not to be hurt. And that's how I fought my battle. I didn't fight out of... Uh, you know, I want to hurt them because they've hurt me. I fought because I wanted to be away from the hurt and find love again and joy and peace because I knew that my life was not over. And I hope you know that yours aren't either. We move on. We move forward. We go through whatever we go through and we let it make us stronger. We're angels. We're here in the power of the light, learning, learning, healing changing the world changing it yeah king of swords that's right we're pushing for the change to truth to dignity decency love peace you know 
and uh, abundance, where we're all abundant, right? Everybody has got all the bills paid. Everybody has got uh, time to spend with family and uh, nurture themselves as well, right? We need time for that. I'm for two to four hour work days, depending on how hard work is. And um, quit working for any man and begin to invest in Mother Earth because she's the one that gives us everything, right, Virgo? Let's all just start working for the Earth and continue as we go. And as we work for her, she supplies everything. Not man. He never supplied nothing. Our ancestors built this city. Our ancestors built this world. It's time that we share it, right? It's time we share this world with everybody, that we can all have what we need. Uh, the end of suffering, the end of worrying about paying bills, the end of worrying about if we're going to have enough, the end of worrying about our children's future, because we're standing up right now for this. We're standing up right now. The people deserve better. We deserve better as a people, Virgo. And if we don't speak, who will? I don't know about you guys, but I am a talker. I love to communicate my feelings and tell people, you know, um, how I have thought about problems and come up with solutions that would ha make everybody happy. That's what I like to do. Because if there's a will, there's a way. One more card. Yes, it's Judgment Day, Virgo. Walk proud. Keep your head tall. Love yourself. Know that you're a precious angel sent here from God, from the upper realms, to be a light worker and change this world. Okay, Virgo, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.